Hello, beautiful people. In this video, I am going to be getting rid of some of the thriller books that have been on my shelves for ages that I don't think I'm going to read. I'm going to try to be ruthless and look at these books one at a time and go, if this doesn't seem like it could be a five-star read, I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to try. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm April. You can think of me as your bookish fairy godmother. On this channel, my goal is to help you find your next five-star read. And these are just a few of the five-star reads that live rent-free in my head. If you like what you see, I hope you'll subscribe, hit the bell, stay a while. All right, before we dive into the end hall, we have to have a talk about taking out the trash and what happened in the US election. I know a lot of you are really disappointed in the election results and so am I. I think it's really important at this stage, at this point, to face facts. America has a misogyny problem. When two immensely qualified women go up against a giant orange oaf and lose to him, it's a misogyny problem. Not only is he an oaf, he was found liable for sexual assault of a woman. America chose a predator over a woman. At this point, it feels like they would choose Ronald McDonald's over a woman, the Aflac duck over a woman. And here's the thing. I think in the past, like the first time around, a bunch of us made excuses for why they chose Trump. It was the economy, it was this, it was that, whatever. But not this time. They know who he is. They know his criminal past and they chose it and they chose him. So it's time to take out the trash in our own lives. Now, some women are deciding not to give Kitty to Republican men. Awesome. Some women are throwing out the concept of the nuclear family and raising children with female friends. Uh, great. However you decide to take out the trash in your own life, go and do that. But most importantly, please don't second guess your own sanity. You are not the crazy one for holding on to your feminist beliefs. I think this is the time that we need to dig deeper into them and hold them more dear. In our lifetime, we should be able to see the first female president. In our lifetime, we should be able to have ownership over our own bodies. In our lifetime, we should be paid equally to men. It is, is not too much to ask for women to be respected. So over the next four years, or however long, <laughs> Lord knows, however long he decides to be in power, because this man has no, <laughs> no uh, respect for the democratic process, um, over these next four plus years, take out the trash, lift women's voices up, and lift women up, and do not forget other minorities who need to be lifted up, need their hearts to be lifted, need their voices to be lifted. This is the time to lift one another up. It's time to move along and take out uh, the bookish trash. They're not really trash, I will say. They're not really trash, but it just kind of works in this kind of uh, theme, you know? All right, we are not going to stay on these books too long. We're gonna go one by one. I'm not gonna talk too much about them. Uh, but we're going to see what stays and what goes. And we're doing this shelf here today. The first book will stay with me forever because it's like my favorite mystery book of all time. Tana French is The Witch Elm. That is not going anywhere. Sharp Objects, also not going anywhere. I love it. Tangerine, fantastic book, staying. Outside is next. Hmm, not sure about this one. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I loved Blood Wedding. This is staying. No Exit was fantastic. Staying. Also really good for winter time. The Maid is a yes. This is staying. I haven't read this book, but I have a very good feeling about it. And it's a series, and I like the idea that it's a series, and one of the books in the series is um, Christmassy, so that's a plus. 
Next up is the murder rule. It says, first rule, make them like you. Second rule, make them need you. Third rule, make them pay. And this is like a law kind of book. And I do genuinely really like law courtroom thrillers. So I'm going to be keeping this one. In my dreams, I hold a knife. I read another Ashley Winstead book and did not like it at all. So I'm going to say goodbye to this. Chasing the Boogeyman. I've only heard good things about this. This one's staying. Oh my goodness, staying. All the birds singing. I genuinely think this could be a five-star read. Let the Right One In is supposed to be a really great vampire book. I don't know if I would like it or not, so I'm going to put this on the maybe pile. Strange Sally Diamond. I really loved this book. I thought it was really, really well done, and I feel like Liz Nugent can do no wrong and creates such... Um, sometimes very unlikable characters in this case a very likable character but they always feel extremely fleshed out the co-worker i have heard mixed things about this so this is going on my maybe i love an alice feeney i'm going to keep good girl bad girl oh good bad girl wow this one i am keeping i have wanted to read louise dowdy for a very long time and haven't had a chance yet so I'm absolutely keeping platform seven. The Cabin at the End of the World is like one of my favorite horror books of all time. Staying, staying, staying. The Turn of the Key, staying, loved this. Again another Alice Feeney. Uh, the twists in here are wild. How can I get rid of one of the only thriller books ha that has ever made me cry? The Good Daughter, go and read it. When are we getting the second book in the series? Slaughter, we need, we need, we need you to work on that, please. Hmm, the St. Ambrose School for Girls. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this or not. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile and then like take a good look at that pile. The Divines, I think, is highly underestimated literary fiction thriller. Really great. This is one of my favorite books a couple of years ago. I loved The It Girl. It's staying. And I also really like Catherine Ryan Howard quite a lot. This is about uh, a film crew um, doing some sort of film and something terrible goes wrong and I, I just will keep all of the Catherine Ryan Howards because I really love her. Okay here we are. I've got like see you're only supposed to have this kind of thing and yet I had them like out. All right let's keep going. Now I read The Heights by Louise Candlish and liked it quite a bit but I'm going to get rid of it because I don't desperately need it still. I'm going to pass that along to somebody else. Voices in the Snow is a Darcy Coates that I definitely want to keep. I really love her ghost stories. She writes such great ones. So keeping that. Also going to keep From Below, which is somehow a ghost story under the water. Like a, a shipwreck ghost story. Okay. I am legend. I liked this book. Do I still need this book on my shelves? I don't think so. A uh, good, you know, zombie vampire book. Um, but I don't think I need this anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. Going to switch arms <laughs> as well because it's starting to hurt. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of Big Machine by L Victor Laval. Um, I just don't think that I'm going to connect with it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. <sighs> Disappearance at Devil's Rock. How have I not read this yet? It's a Paul Tremblay, which I, I really love him. Um, so I'm going to keep this because I usually really like his stuff. What do you do when you get to a book and you're not sure if you've read it or not? I'm going to have to check my, my Goodreads because I'm not sure. I really love Nikki French. I will say I prefer her um, series over her standalones usually but when you do get a good standalone by them it's they're like knock your socks off so I never want to just get rid of them just in case. Here is an example of one of those books that just blows you away. House of Correction about a woman who is on trial for murdering someone she didn't murder and she decides to defend herself. So fascinating. The Other People by C.J. Tudor. I thought for some reason in my head that I had already read this, but I hadn't. I'm going to put this on the maybe pile because I feel maybe about this. I Know My Name by C.J. Cook. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't feel any connection to this. 
Dennis Lehane's Since We Fell. I really liked this when I read it. I don't think I need it on my shelves anymore, um, but I remember liking it. I'm going to keep Dark Things I Adore. I feel like it has some like female rage vibes in here, women getting back at men who do bad things. And uh, right now I'm, I'm all for that. Okay, this one sounds interesting. I've only read one Robin Harding book, but I really liked it. And this has a situation where two women become friends, but one of them is a murderer and they're not letting the other one know. So her pretty face, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Before she was found, I'm going to get rid of this. If you see her from Anya Alborn is a ghost story with a little bit of heart, it seems. So I'm gonna keep this one. She said, she said by Erin Kelly. I think it's time to get rid of this one. It's been on my shelves for years and years and years. I just don't think I'm gonna love it. I'm also going to get rid of Fierce Kingdom. I don't think I need it. And then we have a book that has been on my shelves for ages. Here, I'm gonna try and prop you up here so it's not so wobbly. Can I do this? Ah! That's better. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, the Couple Next Door is a book that I think I'm going to keep because um it's been on my shelves for ages but there's something about the storyline of like a couple just going next door and then their baby vanishes that just I find fascinating so I'm going to keep this one pretty little wife I don't think this is this is gonna stay I think this is not unique enough for the genre so I'm gonna pass on that one also going to pass on To Tell You the Truth by Jillian McMillan. Again, doesn't seem like anything new is happening in this book. So moving on. Your Life is Mine. I don't think I'm going to keep this one. I don't think so. Moving on. The Breakdown. I don't really like B.A. Paris. Why am I keeping her stuff? Uh, so moving that on. Uh, pieces of her. I really like this series. We've had two in the series and I've enjoyed both. So I'm going to keep it. The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. I read this book. I liked this book. Do I need this book on my shelves? No, I'm going to move this along. Someone else can read that. I, I do need to keep this one. This one I do need to keep. Good Neighbors by Sarah Langdon. This is um, kind of a literary fiction thriller so that I really usually like literary fiction anything so I'm going to keep this one. The Lost Man by Jane Harper was okay for me but I don't love Jane Harper's writing so I'm going to pass it along. Oh my goodness I'm so excited because one of my coworkers really loves thrillers and she has a trailer and she goes up to the trailer in the summer and does a lot of reading and I, I'm going to give her so many books it's wonderful. Oh The Unforgotten by Laura Powell. I think I'd like to keep this and I also need to move it. I don't think this should be really in the thriller section. Um, this takes place in 1956 where murders are happening. And I think we have a woman who gets like wrapped up in it. I want to keep this. Oh, The Chalk Man by CJ Tudor. I really liked this book. I think if you're someone who likes It by Stephen King, you should pick this up. Um, Definitely disturbing, um, but really, really good. And has a really good bit of feminism in here, actually. So keeping that. The Guilty Party. Sometimes I buy books and don't really remember them later. Does this happen to anyone else? Do I just have a problem? Oh, there's a, a quote by Liz Nugent on the back. So that's a good sign. Ooh. On a night out, four friends lose each other in a crowd and separately they witness a stranger in trouble. One by one, they decide to do nothing to help. And then a body washes up on shore and what do they do now? I like the idea of this. Morality, right now. Does anybody have it? I'm going to keep that. Um, definitely going to be keeping the lost ones. This is like a kind of um, ghost story um, that looks really, really good takes place in England in 1917. Yes, please. And then finally, another book that I am keeping because I really, really enjoy Jennifer McMahon. This is The Invited about a couple who make a haunted house. Oh, so I think I did well here. 
Okay, so I've turned you around here. These are all of the books that I'm getting ready, I, rid of. I will pile this up better and then pass it along to my friend and coworker. These are the books that I am keeping for sure. Let me get these, these back on my shelf. And then we'll talk about these ones after. This is looking very good, but I'm about to add more, <laughs> more to it. But I organized it alphabetically. It feels great. And now it's time to talk to you about what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of from my maybe pile. I have two books I'm going to get rid of. Outside, it's an isolated thriller, thriller set um, in the winter, in the wilderness. Might be good. Sounds like something I've read a lot. So I'm going to pass it along. Um, the Other People, about a dad looking for his children. I just don't think I'm going to love it. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm going to keep Let the Right One In because it's so unique. I have watched the movie, but the American movie. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, keep that. I'm going to keep the coworker because sometimes you just need a fluffy thriller. Will this be a five-star read? No, it probably won't. And here's where I'm making, I'm going against what I said I was going to do, but it will be entertaining. I'm going to keep St. Ambrose School for Girls because it is about mean girls in um, a boarding room kind of setting. And I always like that. Uh, and then I'm going to keep what to do when someone dies because I don't know if I've read it or not. And I love Nikki French. So here we are. And here is uh, the final uh, book. See, I, this is better than it was. As you know, there were all sorts of books all over the place. So I actually did fairly well for myself. I am semi-proud. All right. I will talk with you guys very soon. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.